Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again, and I'm here with my second video of this epic Redmi Note 8 Pro coverage on Frankie Tech, and here it is, the Redmi Note 8 Pro, and this is almost a continuation of my Street Tech unboxing. So look now with the lighting here in the room of this gorgeous Ice Jade Bing Fei Choi, which is the correct correct pronunciation. I got it wrong in the earlier video. And this is probably one of the most beautiful colors, at least for me, that I've seen on a phone in a long time. So we're gonna just kind of explore a few other areas of this phone. I did the design display, performance, all that stuff. But let me just quickly now show you what was inside the box as well. So let's do this in one quick take here. And so I actually do have the case outside. And it's just a standard TPU case. It's typically included in there. But I think most importantly is we want to see what is the charger that is included. Now, this is the China version, which means it's got this plug that doesn't do me much good. But on the plus side, it is... Yep, there it is. It is an 18-watt charger. Very positive there. And we have the USB-C charging cable. So let's get back into this phone now. And talking about that design once again... Gosh, what a just a beautiful design that this phone has. I really do like that they've done this 2D glass. Now, one phone came to mind actually earlier, which was this phone over here. And that is the Xiaomi Mi A3. And that is the most recent phone that Xiaomi has done with that type of design. Now, looking at those phones on the sides, you can see this also has that kind of 3D glass on the edge. That is hard to do, guys. So that is a very positive thing they've included here in the Redmi Note 8 Pro. And talking also about what's the kind of size of the phone. Again, now you see it in better lighting. There is the IR blaster, volume rocker, and power button, 3.5 millimeter head headphone jack, and the SIM tray. And this thing just feels so good in the hand. I mean, it just <laughs> this phone is spectacular, man. I am so impressed. Xiaomi, you've hit it out of the park again. This is just a gorgeous design, and I love the way the green accent just goes and kind of flows from up and down depending on how you look at it. Obviously, we have this, uh, the camera setup here in this. It's centered now compared to how it was previously on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. I'm just going to bring that phone in there to show you once again. I'll be doing full comparisons of these phones in a bit, but you can see, gosh, you went from like a few cameras to like all the cameras, all of them. <laughs> Insane. So now let's continue here with the display of this phone, a 6.5 inch IPS LCD full HD display. And you know, it's not the best aspect of the phone for sure. Looking at kind of the edges, you can kind of see there's a little bit of kind of ghosting there. It's nothing that is going to really be a deal breaker though. But look, the bottom bezel is a lot smaller. You know, I love the fact that they've done this notch in this way. When my guy, Lampo, and shout out to Lampo, dude, you did awesome tonight, man. Thank you for getting me this phone from China because here in Hong Kong, man, that takes a while. The first time he saw this, they were mentioning this looks like a one plus seven <laughs> and that is the first thing that came to my mind too it's like a one plus seven in terms of the way it feels and the size of the display all of that and let's just quickly look at my device you can see there oh 6.53 sorry i mentioned 6.58 so it's a little bit smaller than that but it's still very close to being one of those larger sized phones and that is a really nice thing i don't mind this display yes would i have loved it to be amoled of course i would have loved it to be amoled but at this price point i will not mind it's a, it's an okay thing the colors in increased contrast they just pop. They look decent. They don't look as, they don't pop off the screen the way AMOLED does, but they look pretty good. And now segueing into performance, let's talk about it. And I do have the Antutu scores here. Now that I have run on this phone, 2,000, uh, 228,067. So that is pretty good scores overall. And this is the MediaTek 
90 G GT 90 if I'm not mistaken and I got to get these words right here but that is a chip that is actually gaming focused that's like the main point of this phone is that it's gaming focused and that it is focused to be able to give you the best overall performance when it comes to gaming and when it comes to just all that kind of stuff so this is a decent Antutu score I don't think it's an issue let me just double check once again up the Helio G90T just want to get that absolutely right here and so I'll be testing this chip out in gaming in a few seconds here but let's continue on with a few key areas that I wanted to bring up the main thing I wanted to bring up is that Google Apps are fully supported now guys you see it there we have the Play Store fully running on this China version of the phone and I've been able to download now Gboard. Guys, that's the first thing that I do. I don't know about you guys. When I get one of these China releases, I switch the keyboard immediately. I cannot deal with these other keyboards. So I switch to Gboard. And I have my Gmail that I still have to set up here. But it should work. And there is Frankie Tech. And there it is. So everything is pretty much set. It's ready to go. And that's awesome. But DRM Info is not that awesome. There it is. L3 security level, which I'm not surprised by. I mean, that was going to be the case. So that just means you don't have HD Netflix compatibility there with this phone. I'm sure global versions of this, though, will. I really hope they do. The main thing that I'm super excited about in terms of, of kind of additional sensors, though, is just hands down NFC. And there it is. It is on, which means I should be able to use Google Pay and guess what it's not working right now this should be enabled with an update and I hope I'll be able to get this set up soon but as of right now guys Google Pay is not working on this China version so we'll wait and see for that in a little bit everything else seems fine the audio test I will do right now we're just gonna play a little bit of oh, I don't have <laughs> sorry guys I don't have a Chrome set up yet and I will do that in a second but I will play a little bit of this ringtones for you just to hear i will do the full audio test when i do my kind of full review but let's go ahead and turn that up there's the sound you can kind of hear it there let's get one that's actually like a song i mean not too bad not too bad and we'll be doing a full test of the audio, but it is a single bottom firing speaker right there. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is a welcome sight as well. And now let's do it, guys. We'll, oh, before we get into PUBG, though, I do want to share information about the camera. And so this camera is a really awesome setup on this phone. The main point here is that it is that 64 megapixel Samsung sensor. And so you will have that 64 megapixel capability right there. I don't think you'll use that, that that often. You'll be probably using just the regular camera sensor there. Now, I took a few shots there just now. This is the portrait mode. Looks pretty decent overall, you can see. And just the other shots I took earlier, that should be really good. I will share a few more shots. Uh, I will take a few more and share them on Twitter shortly, so stay tuned for that. But I think this is going to be a, definitely a step of step above the Redmi Note 7 Pro that came before it. So now let's wrap up, guys, with this PUBG gaming. And you see it here, this is happening in real time. It says there, the game boost. There it is, Game Turbo, PUBG Mobile. It knows it's time to get started. And we can see there's all the settings. And it shows you the CPU performance there, 24%, 17 frames per second. Now, I'm curious, because this is the first time I'm running the game, so I'm curious just as much as you guys to see which settings is it going to recommend for me here on PUBG. Let's have a look. Using Facebook, this is the international, this is the global version, I guess, of PUBG. And there you go. It recommended the high spec settings. That is a very welcome sight here on PUBG Global Edition. And so let's get this gameplay started with us. Quickly look at the settings and I'm going to choose hdr ultra it ultra is available that's awesome let's do realistic here and let's also enable anti-aliasing shadows let's go 150 percent and disable auto adjust graphics so let's get started and right now dude this phone 
I love the way it's using the entire display. I was worried because of the teardrop notch that it wouldn't do that, but this teardrop notch is very subtle. It's kind of a smooth angle there, so it looks really good. But you know what test is time for now? You know what it's time for. It's time for the classic Frankie Tech swim test. Brought to you by the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> oh, yeah. So at the plane jump, there are no stutters whatsoever. And this phone is cool to the touch. I'm expecting a performance level similar to that of the Snapdragon 730 but maybe a little bit less, but considering the fact that this phone is gaming focused, it may do even better. Let's get down to the surface now, get some guns, get some action. Okay, and here we are on the surface now, and there's a dude there already. I better get a gun before he does. Okay, let's see if I can get at least just one kill. There's a guy, let's do it, take that. Oh yeah, <laughs> and that's one kill on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Oh, baby, that was quick. And it's getting a little warm to the touch, but nothing, nothing like, uh, oh, man, was I just killed by a sniper, no less. Look at that. <laughs> that was shocking. Did not expect that quick kill there. Better luck next time, Frankie H. But guess what, guys? That was an awesome, just quick look here at PUBG gameplay on the Redmi Note 8 Pro. This phone, man, this is a gaming beast. I can feel it already. It is getting a little warm, but you know what? We're playing on ultra settings and that was available. There's so many phones in this, this kind of price point that don't have that capability. So I say thumbs up here on PUBG gameplay on this Redmi Note 8 Pro. It's got it, man. It's totally got it. And so final review here on the Redmi Note 8 Pro just after a couple hours of use. Man, this phone, I am so excited to now have this in my possession and I will be putting this thing through its paces. I'll be taking more great photos. I'm gonna be doing a lot of great stuff with this Redmi Note 8 Pro, specifically compared to the Redmi Note 7 Pro that I wanna test it and compare it to. But the other phone that I'm also excited to compare this to is none other than the Xiaomi Mi 9T. And that's going to be also a great comparison between these phones. I am very excited to share all of these comparisons with you guys. And also, just stay tuned is all I will say. If you haven't subscribed to my channel just yet, definitely go and subscribe. And if you like this video, give me that thumbs up. I do appreciate the support. If you ain't following me on social media, go to it, guys. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers here on Frankie Tech. There's a lot of fun stuff coming up and a lot of fun surprises, let me say that. And you know what? This Redmi Note 8 Pro is the kind of phone that is definitely giveaway worthy, let's just say. <laughs> And anyways, stay tuned, guys. There's a lot of great stuff coming to the channel. And I do appreciate the support. It meant the world to me this last weekend. I went through a really tough time, guys, with the loss of that uh, Note 10 Plus. And just with the protests, there's a lot of negative stuff happening around me right now. And I really do appreciate your comments, your support, your prayers, guys. It meant everything. Just overall, just in all of your kind of comments and messages from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate it. And stay tuned for more great content here on Frankie Tech. Anyways, this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. Man, best mid-range phone of 2019. It's just gotta be. It's just gotta be.